Hello everyone. Let us go through hemostasis. It is defined as prevention of bleeding by various physiological processes. Series of events involved in hemostasis are constriction of blood vessel, formation of temporary hemostatic blood, and formation of definitive hemostatic blood. The first event is constriction of blood vessel. It occurs due to local myogenic contraction of injured blood vessel. Nervous reflex originated from the injured tissue and release of 5-hydroxytryptamine and other vasoconstrictor substances from platelets. Now, formation of temporary hemostatic plug. Due to injury, collagen layer get exposed which attract platelet towards it causes platelet adhesion. After adhesion, platelet get activated. Activated platelet changes the shape and discharge its granular content. Later, platelet stick to each other called platelet aggregation. This way, temporary hemostatic plug is formed. Now, Formation of definitive hemostatic plug. When intrinsic system of hemostasis get activated, it causes activation of factor 12. Activated factor 12 causes activation of factor 11. Activated factor 11 will cause activation of factor 9. Activated factor 9 and activated factor 8 form a complex which causes activation of factor 10 in presence of platelet phospholipids and calcium. When extrinsic system of hemostasis get activated, it causes release of tissue thromboplastin. Released tissue thromboplastin causes activation of factor 7. Activated factor 7 will cause activation of factor 10 in presence of factor 3, calcium and platelet phospholipids. So, activation of factor 10 is a key reaction in both the ways of hemostasis. Activated factor 10 interact with factor 5, calcium and platelet phospholipids to form prothrombin activator. When prothrombin activator is formed by activation of intrinsic system, it is called as intrinsic prothrombin activator. If prothrombin activator is formed due to activation of extrinsic system, it is called as extrinsic prothrombin activator. Here, factor 5 acts as a cofactor and phospholipids provide surface. These prothrombin activator act on prothrombin and causes formation of thrombin. Thrombin in presence of factor 13 and calcium act on fibrinogen and forms fibrin which is insoluble in nature. Important points to remember. In which condition intrinsic pathway of coagulation get activated? Intrinsic pathway get activated in following conditions. In vivo, exposure of blood to the collagen fibers of blood vessels, change in blood constituent. In vitro, exposure of blood to glass slides. In which conditions extrinsic pathway of coagulation get activated? Extrinsic pathway get activated in response to injury to blood vessel wall or body tissues. What is the role of calcium in coagulation? Trace of calcium is required for coagulation. It acts as a catalyst in many stages of coagulation. How intravascular thrombosis is prevented? Intravascular thrombosis is prevented by following reactions. Removal of some activated clotting factors like factor 9, 10, 11, 12, 
from circulation by antithrombin 3 decrease supply of clotting factors interaction between thromboxane A2 and prostacycline presence of natural anticoagulants in the circulation like heparin and protein C how interaction between thromboxane A2 and prostacycline helps in prevention of intravascular coagulation thromboxane A2 promotes platelet aggregation and vasoconstriction prostacycline inhibits platelet aggregation and causes vasodilatation balance between these two causes platelet aggregation at the site of injury and clot formation prevents excessive extension of clot why blood does not clot in circulation blood does not clot in circulation due to following reasons smooth endothelial lining and negatively charged particles over the endothelial lining in the blood vessels velocity of circulation if velocity of circulation decreases it leads to clot formation presence of natural anticoagulants like heparin protein c in the circulation thank you